I'm Andy Kumalo. I have been invited by Capit Tech to spend some time with uh, the finalists and we're talking about financial management and how to make sure that you know the guys do well in managing their finances far too often in the music industry we hear more and more of our own artists by the time their careers are over you know pretty much all that they've made they've actually spent so there's an art to this it's very important that is that they do, they do it um, um, responsibly congratulations because even if you didn't plan it and you thought you just wanted to sing what you actually are is an entrepreneur and I want to share about five things about entrepreneurship that is going to happen to you. Many people that get into business, like you, have this fear that they're going to fail. I'm pretty sure also in your own career, there's a long list of failures, right? And a very short list of very successful people. And many a time you doubt whether or not you should do this thing because you're thinking, oh my goodness, what if I fail, <coughs> right? I've got news for you. So you will fail, mm -hmm. it's going to happen. The good news is that every entrepreneur fails at something at some time. Chances are you're gonna try some things that just won't work. It's the nature of the game. That's not a reason to give up on everything. The other good thing about failure is that it teaches you lessons you appreciate more than anybody else, because it happened to you. This is an ad. I love this ad because it, sh it proves the one thing that all entrepreneurs are. We sell, guys. Entrepreneurs sell. Even if all you have to sell is a Daihatsu MPV and try to compare it to a Lamborghini. So if a day goes by and you have not had a business conversation with anybody that could generate income for yourself, you're not an entrepreneur, you're wasting your time. Don't do this stuff, go get a job. I'm an entrepreneur, so I've, I've built businesses in my life as well. And I also think that it's quite important that they see themselves as entrepreneurs. Um, they are one man businesses or one woman businesses and they need to behave, negotiate, carry themselves out and conduct themselves as businesses. And, and with that kind of mindset, there's then a much better chance of being able to, successful in, to be successful in their own financial situations. This is critical. Don't diversify, intensify. Many people who start out in business, they tell you that you must do all these things. I'm here to tell you don't do all those things. What I'm asking you to do is do what all these people have done. If this is your chosen career, if this is what you want to do, be the best at this thing. Within this thing, there will come other opportunities, but they must be related to this thing. The guy here, his name is Henry Ford. The interesting thing about Henry Ford is that we all think he founded the vehicle, right? The automobile. He didn't found the automobile. There were already automobiles when Henry Ford was alive. What this brilliant man did is that he came up with a way to produce them at mass. Hence, we have Ford today because of this guy. So your game is an innovation game. That's all it is. It's really, really important, guys, that you see yourselves as entrepreneurs. It is absolutely critical because your language changes, your approach to this thing changes. So what is important for us to, to land is a couple of things. On the journey of being an entrepreneur, it's quite important for them to understand what they must anticipate. And one of the things they must anticipate is that at any point of an entrepreneur's journey, they're going to fail at something at some point. It's not reasonable to give up and kind of throw toys in the air and walk away. But every single person who's ever built anything, particularly in the arts, because you know, a lot of times you gotta spend time being different and being unique and being able to offer something that somebody else doesn't, you're gonna go through struggles and very often you're gonna go through failures. So it was important that you know, we get the finalists to understand that as entrepreneurs, they're getting to a space where failure is going to be featured in quite a lot and it is not reason to give up. The investment question, and often when we talk about investments, we talk about putting money away. The slight investment question I want to talk to you about is on yourself. You may get a lot of opportunities that may grow you as a person. Tours, invites, take those kind of things. Because you have zero to lose in taking an opportunity to better your skill. That's true. So always find room to invest in self. And always invest in self. Always do. Read, attend stuff. Don't get a point, especially too soon in your music career, where you think that you are a hit. You understand? And you think you've learned everything. It's now your time to teach the world how it's done, baby, because I'm the man. So the only way to stay on the top of your game is you allow yourself to learn. Number three is the simplest financial tip I could ever give you. How do you have more money you spend less than you make? Simple as that. I'm looking at you, yes, because I wanted to sink in. <laughs> if you make 10 rand, don't spend 12 rand. If you make 10 rand, spend eight rand. Have two rand left. So just spend less than you earn. That's it, you'll be fine. Clear strategy and staying grounded. It doesn't have to be marriage, guys. Could be religion, could be 
self-belief, it could be anything, it could be your ancestors. But you need some level of grounding. Because unfortunately in your space, you can get taken up quite easily because it's a fame game. You're all over, you're meeting all these people, you're being offered all these things. If you don't have a point where you can go back and be one with self and just be yourself in that environment, not the artist, not the, not the celeb, be self, you're going to lose your damn mind. Commercialize, innovate, sell. That really talks to the ownership. You want to own as much of your stuff as possible. It's not always easy. It was impossible for my Latini. It's a lot easier for black coffee because we live in a digital age now. You guys in this digital age, you've got a better chance of doing that. The other part was the ability to sell themselves and market themselves. And the point that I highlighted was that, uh, you know, you, you're not in business if you're not selling. Um, you have to constantly be selling whatever it is, your music, yourself, bookings, the experience, the genre, um, what you are offering, you're constantly a marketer. So you're also the number one salesman of this one woman and one man business. Lastly, before the Q&A, please grab this book. This book is called Financial Skills. It's done by the guys at Capitech. Very, very useful so for some basic financial stuff. So read it later. Please take the time to have a look at it. I just want to highlight a few things. Please go to page two. It makes two points on that page. It says, one, understand your needs versus your wants. And obviously, you want to have enough money to make sure that you can cover your needs. And then you, have on, you want to have extra on ones. Page three at the top talks about how to budget. And then it says, on number two, it says, understand your income. Revenue is not profit. Don't look at, oh, I was able to build, I don't know, 100,000 for that gig. I'm the man. No, there might be some cost to that. But the other point I wanted to highlight here is that as a one man, one woman business, the timing of your cash you need to match it with the timing of your expenses. You know that there'll be times you make a lot, and there'll be times there'll be nothing. You gotta budget more, and you gotta preserve more. And then on number five, lastly, I wanted to highlight, this is a very interesting guide. It's called a budget guide. It just gives you some, uh, page five. It just gives you some, some guidelines on how much is a percentage you should be spending on different things, right? It's got a suggestion here that 50% of your income must be on essential expenses, that your house, your car, the really important stuff. 30% must be on financial priorities, that's saving for retirement, medical aid, that kind of stuff, and 20% for lifestyle choices. Great stuff, that's all I had to say. Yeah. Q&A, I guess. Hi, I'm Faith. Hello, Faith. Um, I work on radio, I might be dropping off a CV. Oh, great Just to stuff. put it out there, great stuff. Um, you mentioned that uh, you did accounting and banking yes. at some point. Yes. Um, so because we make money between maybe say September and February, yeah. what's a more practical banking way of then being able that Ule Zinyanga is Landelayo. Yeah. I then have hypothetically 10,000 Rand to take care of my car because yeah. these are monthly things and Great I can't question. pay them once in bulk. It has to, Understood. for also my credit score, it has to be paid and get monthly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's a more practical route that, I mean, I, or maybe whoever wins that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's a more practical route to live Great on a question. monthly basis? Great question. Great question. Great question. So <clears throat> here's what we don't understand about banks. We think banks are banks are banks. Banks are service providers who charge us a fee for using their services. So whatever the bank sells as a product, whether it's a fixed deposit product, a check account, or whatever it is, it's what the bankers have decided most people want. So they package these products. But what we receive as customers is that, oh, that's all I can get from a bank. Am I making any sense? Yeah. So what you can do with most banks, and I have no doubt Capitec is the same, you can go to a bank. And you can say, bank, here's what I'd like you to do. I make 100,000 in these four months. I have rent of 5,000 every month. I've signed a, a contract. Either get the bank to come up with a way of making sure that you only have access of so much money. The bank can easily do that. It's not a difficult thing. All they do, so you'll see your balance, it'll say 100,000, it'll say available 10. It's a press of a button. You go to a bank at the teller, you tell them. So they can tailor make. They can quite easily do that. It's not difficult for a bank to do it. And the final thing to remember is, he said it earlier, you're an entrepreneur. Think of yourself as an entrepreneur when it comes to how am I going to make the money? But think of yourself as an employee when it comes to how am I going to spend it monthly? Yeah, guys, I think that's it. Round of applause for Andy Lee. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thanks for having me. Take a, just take a nice picture with Andy Lee. Oh, picture time. Today it was a little bit of a mix between entrepreneurship and also kind of financial management. And then on the financial skills themselves, basic principles, you know, spend less than you earn, as simple as that. If you want to spend more, earn more. 
So don't put yourself in a position where your lifestyle is up here, but your earnings are down there. It's very simple stuff. And uh, thanks also to the Capitech guys who are here, we're able to share some tools that are available to them, particularly on the Capitech app, that helps them with budgeting, that helps them kind of check their spending against a budget that's sitting all in one application. And I think it's something that the guys um, appreciate it.